Veiled in secrecy, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-il travels to Beijing to meet President Hu. Reports say they discussed North Korea's nuclear crisis and its food shortages. At the trial of the Belgian paedophile Mark Dutroux, one of his former captives gives evidence. Another casualty at Shell Oil, now the chief financial officer has gone. And footballing legend Maradona is in intensive care with heart problems. Hello, I'm Nisha Pillay. Welcome to BBC World News. The North Korean leader, Kim Jong-il, is reported to have begun talks in Beijing with the Chinese president, Hu Jintao. The visit is a sensitive one and is being kept private. President Hu has made two visits to the Chinese capital before. China has been hosting six-party talks on North Korea's nuclear weapons program and the U.S. And here's what's coming up. A Russian rocket has blasted off from Kazakhstan on a mission to the International Space Station. Stay with us. Hello again, this is BBC World. These are the main headlines. Bailed in secrecy, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-il travels to Beijing for talks on the nuclear issue. And in Belgium, a woman held captive by paedophile Marc Dutroux gives evidence at his trial. Time for the business news now with Sally Eden. Sally, thanks very much, Nisha. Hello, oil giant Shell is attempting to regain investors' confidence after the crisis over... This is BBC World. And here's Rob Bonnet now with the sports news for us. Thank you, Nisha. Well, the uh, latest news on the health of the Argentine footballing legend Maradona is that he's reacting favorably to treatment and that his condition has stabilized. This the reserved. That's the sport for now. Here's Nisha. Rob, thank you. Let me remind you before I go that the North Korean leader Kim Jong-il is reported to have begun talks in Beijing with the Chinese president Hu Jintao. And in Belgium, at the trial of the paedophile Marc Dutroux, a young woman who was held captive by him as a child has been testifying. That's BBC World News.